What's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So what I like to highlight today, I love this. Oh, this looks amazing. I am Jacoby Matis. This is fucking awesome dude. So what is this? This is PowerShell for hackers. If we go back to his tweet for a moment, we can see it there. PowerShell for hackers is his life, a fully interactive Windows-like hacking playground, a blog to share PowerShell hacking techniques, CTFs, tools, payloads and more. Explore it now on powershellforhackers.com. I recommend starting with the first blog post, which should help you navigate the site and learn the different areas. PowerShellforhackers.com slash blog slash post question mark etc. There are a bunch of different easter eggs and cool places to explore. Please feel free to navigate back to this post and share some constructive criticism or things you would like to see me implement into the site. I appreciate your guys support so far and am pretty excited to be back in the swing of things. So let's look at the website for a moment shall we? Scrolling to the PowerShell section, we can see that it opens a nice PowerShell screen for us, in which we can type a help as we can see for the available commands being who am I, date, clear and reverse shell. That's freaking cool dude, you are such a freaking cool guy, I love this so much. And who says that these are the only available commands, right? I mean, just because a help says that these are available. Okay, that's nice, but who says that they're the only ones available, right? Moving to the Minesweeper game. It's a, mine, it's a fucking Minesweeper game in the browser. Let's move to GitHub, that is a link to his GitHub repository. And then in the payloads we have certain things as well. I'm not going to go there yet. I want to go into the blog first. So we can see some blog posts. I just love the style of this. And I'm sorry, Jacoby. I gotta try. I just have to try. Oh, that's a shame. It is, anytime I see, I have to try. Okay, so as he recommends, start with the first blog post. As you can see, we have features posts, we have recent posts, scrolling all the way down, exploring lol bins. A PowerShell module for living off the land. First and foremost, I want to extend a huge thank you to the LolBass project for their incredible work in cataloging living off the land binaries and scripts LolBass. Their dedication to documenting these nav native system utilities has been an invaluable resource for security researchers, red teamers and defenders alike. Inspired by their efforts, I've created a PowerShell module called LolBins to make interacting with this data even easier. For a deep dive into the module's functions, go check out the GitHub repository where each function is documented in detail. So what exactly is a lolbin? A lolbin or living off the land binary is a legitimate pre-installed system utility that can be repurposed for malicious or unconventional tasks. This is this uh, think of tools like certutil.exe, bitsadmin.exe, or even forfiles.exe. They're already on your Windows system, trusted by default, and don't require you to install anything extra. This lack of dependencies is a huge benefit, whether you're a penetration tester sneaking through a network or an admin scripting without worrying about external libraries. Lolbins lets you get creative with what's already there, turning everyday tools into powerful allies. So as we can see the Lolbins PowerShell module, I built taps into this concept with a suite of functions to query and leverage Lolbus data. One standout is test Lolbins path, which quickly scans your system to see which Lolbins from the Lolbus dataset are present. I'm wondering if this is a PowerShell command that we can execute, so I want to try that. Let's do that. Test lolbins path. I uh, may have fucked it up. Okay, so it automatically decapitalizes everything. That's good. 
Let's look at the payloads for a moment. Get SSH keys. So retrieve the SSH keys. I will look. If you guys want me to, I can go through that entire thing. But let's just look what what we can execute here. Uh, payloads. Oh shit. That's not what I need. Do you have the option to supply one yourself? Data got. Ugh. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> what the hell? Of course. Well, that doesn't really help if I do that wrong now, does it? What the hell? Wes, come on. Yeah, it's like 10 p.m. It's 11 p.m. I know that's not very late for most of you guys, but it's been a heavy day for me. Let's look at it a little bit more. Recycle bin. <laughs> okay, that's a nice one. And then we have pseudo tube which is, uh, in, as we can see, tired of being tracked and over charts for basic services. You can take back control, just replace the word you and any YouTube link with sudo and it works. That's very nice. Yeah, well, of course, that's not a valid video idea now, is it? Let's look this, at this one. Well, I can just go like this, can't I? Ah, nice. I made this because it's a fun challenge. If you like it and want to support me, the best way is to my non-profit, The Kitten Castle, where I care for over 30 rescue cats. That's fucking awesome. So let's highlight that as well. That's really fucking awesome. That I fucking love that. That's sick, dude. That's sick. You really made a cool side and you have a fucking kitten castle. You, the, the thing is, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Okay? Why the hell are you gathering an army of kittens? I, I mean, I feel like we are gonna have to talk about this somehow. And then we have Malcor.io. This is really cool, dude. What? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I fucking love. I'm gonna put it in this. If you guys want to see me explore this side a bit more, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.